All right, they are loading up pretty quickly here, Maxi. We both like better be naughty. Yeah, flying to Moore's best back, 225 into odds on a dollar 90. But having said that, better be naughty, 650 into six. Did get as short as 550. I'm happy to go with better be naughty as well. I know we'll be up on the speed. Putting night ever so clever in. A decent price each way at double figures. Then flying to Moore. Debut today, slightly awkward gate. And then number 11, Miss Bacall, 191211. Yeah, I'm with better be naughty. He's a little bit of a plain Jane sort of style of a fellow, but thought he presented fit enough to be winning uh, first up and he had some beautiful form um, not only last prep but particularly at his first preparation I thought the favorite looked good Maxi she certainly looked fit she looks new but she looked really fit as did hearts are racing here's David Fowler fifth Cassidy over man goes in they're locked and loaded red light turned on the starter with the button and we're set for action stand by they're racing. Flying to Moore has jumped away quite well and going towards the early lead, but the best out was Hearts are Racing. Leads early from Gucci Diva, Flying to Moore, and ever so clever will land fourth as they round the first bend. Then Casanova followed by a shill up. Drifting back, La Bella Diva with Miss Bacall. Casanova man a long way back, and the second favourite, Better Be Naughty, settles in last position, 10 lengths off the lead. Heading down the side now, 700 metres from the judge. The pace header was Gucci Diva. Leads Hearts are Racing, who's got the drop on the leader. Flying to Moore, the favourite, is well poised in third at the halfway mark. Two to ever so clever in fourth and Casmanova. Fifth over on the rail, then a Schiller followed by La Bella Diva. Miss McCall, better be naughty with work to do. Seven to eight off them as they turn for home and Casanova man turns in last. In the home straight though and Gucci Diva leads the way. Flying to Moore now sitting silent after the leader. Casmanova's under some pressure. Ever so clever's running on pretty well. This favourite is flat out as Casmanova almost pushed it out of the way. Casmanova reached the lead. Flying to Moore trying to go with it and better be naughty getting up on the inside making very good Ground. The favourite can't win. Casper in front. Not for long. Better be naughty. Shot her on the inside. Took the lead and beat Casper over. Flying to more every hope in third. And a Schiller arriving for fourth. They're followed then by Ever So Clever. At the head of the others, Miss McCall, then Casanova Man. Gucci Diva and Hearts are Racing knocking up. Bidding only La Bella Diva to the post. So better be naughty comes from near last. What was he doing back there? <laughs> I was madly looking for him through the early part and there was that yellow cap back second last giving them about eight. But it, uh, it was worrying if you're on him in the home straight. Where was he going to go? Was he going to go left, right or up the middle? But eventually he made the right decisions, Robbie Dolan. He's really got his eye in this guy and navigational skills absolutely perfect there on better be naughty. Casper the stable mate getting second, so that was a good debut performance. Flying to Moore, every chance she broke quickly. She got up on the pace comfortably. Uh, she might improve a little bit on that one, would think, being a first start. And then a shiller uh, bringing a bit of Sunshine Coast form to town today. But that was a deserving victory, uh, Bernie. Better be naughty. He had uh, switch. A chop and change runs in the home straight, but he was too good as his recent trials suggested that he would be. It was just a fabulous win and a, a great ride after, I have to watch the start again. I, I'm not sure how he ended up there. Obviously there was a ton of speed on and, and that speed, that tempo really continued to build sort of leaving the half mile. In fact, right up to the 600 metre mark, they were they were burning along. Rob Heathcote has quenelled it as well, so he will be absolutely thrilled. What a win by this little guy. It was, and when he fluffed the start, a little Is that bit... what happened? A little bit like Sulcombe. <laughs> bit unlucky, but, you know, what a ride by Robbie. He's a welcome addition to our riding ranks. Miss, I, I, I'd be interested to see what he says, because he was so motherless last at 600. He stayed patient, took the run up the inside, but I was equally delighted with Casper debut run and my two stables biggest supporters or two of them adrenaline and first light racing they fight it out so it's a good result it was a great result this guy he had really great form in his first campaign he was beaten by some pretty good horses yeah and and look he's been a little unlucky he's come back he's trialed well and we expected a bold showing today under the big weight and robbie delivered for us great stuff well done rob cheers mate all right one beats five twelve and eight Robbie Dolan's here. So just one question before we go to Kembla. Gosh, you gave us a fright. <laughs> ah, I knew what I was doing. Of course you did. Right trainer, right horse, and we just uh, took
Just keep you on the edge of your seat after the Melbourne Cup, you know what I mean? <laughs> nice work. Enjoy the win. Yeah. Right, there he is, Robbie Dolan. That was a bit cheeky, wasn't it? <laughs> but he, he's right. He did know what he was doing and he wins the race. 1-5, 12-8. Here's Kembler.